Alright, so the Hell Hades Optimizer recently just got an update. And just overall, honestly, big shout out to Saf and Hell Hades and the entire team there because this optimizer, the Hell Hades Optimizer, makes everything in Raid pretty much uh, a lot easier to do. Like, if you remember a time before Hell Hades Optimizer, we were taking notes, we were writing things down, or we were just kind of eyeballing things in terms of uh, trying to gear champions. Like, trying to gear champions back then took a really long time. Like, we had to sit down and really dedicate time. Now, it's pretty much um, a no-brainer. You come to, if you can, and you're not on mobile, uh, you just come to uh, Hill Hades Optimizer, the website, and download this, and then you do it. You put in your, your stats, whatever champ you want to work on, and then you put... You know you click optimize and you just do this whole thing right makes it super easy to find specific things that you're looking for basically a no-brainer this update that they just came out with is pretty big now i haven't seen a video on it i'm going to but i did notice this section right here if you know me i'm pretty big on gear all right now on this account here i have I'm approaching the cap, 1,500 pieces of gear. So I thought I'd go ahead and um, try out the Hell Hades Optimizer. I kind of looked at it already here, and it was pretty cool. You could um, you could look for uh, specific sets. You could look for specific ranks or slots. It's very in depth. Before this, I was using the RSL helper that Farbstop did to sell gear because you could have a sell file upload it and it would automatically sort through your gear and anything that was part of the sell file it would automatically sell that type of gear for you based on the instructions given by the data file now i don't know the specifics yet on how this works but i was looking around and i could say okay if i wanted to look for a gear that has a specific or is associated with a specific faction you could if i wanted to find gear that had a primary stat like specifically um flat health i could look for those things or if i wanted to look for specific like it's pretty in-depth ascension but what i'm looking for here all right this is how i'm gonna do this what i'm looking for here is looking for anything that is rated according to hell hades as average weak very weak or goes straight to the bin at the same time i also want to find those same pieces of gear that have the potential, the artifact potential, which is indicated right here, it's weak, and then average, anything that has the potential to become average, weak, very weak, or just straight bin, I'm looking for as well. And as you can see, all of these show up. So I click sell mode, and then I can click all, but these are all the pieces of gear. We have crit rate with triple defense. Um, I guess I can also understand where he's coming from. Generally speaking, you don't always want to just flat out like take this at face value and go ahead and just sell everything off the rip, even if it has a rating like this, even if you trust Hell Hades. Now, here's the thing, right? There's two schools of thoughts, and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. For the most part, I don't think I know more than Hell Hades or Saf when it comes to gear or anything within Raid. I don't think I know more than Farbstaff or uh, Panda with the cell file on the R cell helper. Because of that, I'm pretty much just going to trust whatever they say. And these 72 pieces of gear that they've taken aside, I'm more than likely going to sell them. Except, I'm also going to um, put an asterisk here because there are certain pieces of gear you don't want to sell regardless. Slayer gear, which is a paid set. Merciless gear, which is hard to come by. Um, same thing for some of the impulse gear, because there's going to be missions upcoming that require you to have impulse gear. Some of the stone skin I might keep because you might want to re-roll it or re- um, I don't know if this counts potential for like this here. I don't know if it counts for if I were to use a chaos or right? Because if I re-rolled re this and this was like a triple speed on stone skin, or I guess that's not a good example. But like, let's say, I don't know, this this HP Slayer set right here has a penta roll possibility on defense. So let's say I hit that penta. All flat defense in the red. 
and then I rework it. What if it's trip like qu pent to speed? You know what I mean? I don't know if it counts that. So those are things that I might want to consider keeping. Same thing with the uh, stone skin accessories, because those are not easy to come by. Lethal gear, same same thing as well. I might keep my lethal gear, but everything else, uh, swift parry gear, you know, all these things that you can come by relatively easy. I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and agree and and, and sell it. But this is where it comes into the whole. Make sure you're looking at each of your pieces of gear before you just straight out sell it, right? They are good to use as a guide, but also really take a look at what it is that you're you're selling. Like these make sense, right? Uh, yeah, I got crit damage with crit rate, but it's also a one 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 one. Those are pretty bad. HP flats. Like I wonder if I could rework these boots here. Let me see. Defense flat. Savage. Well, I don't have any. Um... Well, I can't rework anything anyway. But yeah. So there's that. And uh, the way that this works is after clicking sell mode and you click all these parameters that you're looking for and you click apply, then you click sell list again. Make sure you go to the game filter, click sell. And then you're going to click add all. And then sell list. Sell all. Sorry. That one. That's what that's what I meant. And then it automatically puts in those 66 pieces of gear for you. But again, check. I don't know why it says 72 and then it shows up 66 here. But yeah. So it's telling me to sell all these pieces of gear. More than likely, I'm going to end up doing that, except for the aforementioned pieces. And maybe I might keep these as well, depending on if I get ores for it or not. But yeah, that's basically how I'm going to use that. So big shout out to, to them. And um, I wanted to see like what else is new around here. I haven't seen, again, I haven't seen any videos and I'm not really sure. Oh, I think this was another thing where you can share links now. So if you wanted to create a specific thing, like, I don't know, Magic Keep, and you had a specific run, I guess you could click share link, create a new link, and then you could share that with whoever you want in your Discord server or whatnot, and then they could just upload that specific build or that specific composition to their uh, Hell Hades optimizer. So yeah. And um, I'm gonna play with this a little bit more, and if I come across anything, any new revelations or whatnot, then I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you guys. You could also actually, I just realized this, you could look at equipped versus unequipped. So I could see what, what is on my champions right now that is actually rated and has the potential ratings of average, weak, and below. I only want to keep strong and um, I'm actually, I'm really curious right now. How much of my gear is actually godlike? If I were to just sell all this right here, if I were to sell everything with a rating of legendary and below, only keeping godlike gear, I wonder how much would show up. Like, actually, let me just let me click reset filter and let's just see how much of my gear is actually godlike only and we're gonna do all gear and apparently i only have 371 pieces of gear that is considered godlike and that's pretty interesting but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and mess around with this uh, i just wanted to give you guys that update if you if you don't know about it or if you're not gonna go out of your way for it um to to find out what it is i think the biggest thing here is the auto sell feature here in um the hell ladies optimizer and i actually just saw this right now roll score what's roll score um, it says that artifacts subsets can roll on a range at random, leaving much variance between a high double roll and a low double roll. For example, at, ra at rank six, artifacts can roll five or six speed on a subby. And this app, uh, this option, if I click show uh, roll score here, allows me to toggle a view that displays how well the artifact has rolled and assess the overall efficiency. They are displayed as the current, which is the current stats that we have and the max possible so we can quickly compare how high or low the substat rolled often important when considering if you should keep or sell an artifact and let's go dive into that concept a little bit so here is an option to filter on the low end for an example on this specific piece of gear currently it rolled a 10 which i consider to be a little bit on the lower end here it double rolled onto attack it got 18 um 21 which i think is also kind of on the lower end i think on the high end you're maybe within a range of three 
I actually don't even know what the low end for any of these are. So maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, but let's look at this one for an example. Roll quality, uh, 59%. It rolled a 20 for speed when it could have rolled, rolled a max of 24. So now I'm curious, cause this is relatively new to me. Um, this one looks, okay, I, I can kind of see how they're quantifying this to be as godlike. This is a roll quality of 75, where the max potential was 14. We got a HP percentage roll currently of 13. Damage rolled a six out of seven, which means that when it dropped, it was only at six, but it could have been a seven, which is pretty good. Speed, double roll, 18 out of 18. That's pretty much perfect. Let me see if I have anything that has um, best, is best rating. It looks like my bet. Okay, so maybe this is it. Is that how you? Uh... Not sure. But if I ever find anything that's like a hundred, like this one's zero. Oh, well, I guess you never really rolled it. Um, but that's pretty pretty cool to know. Something that I've talked about before in one of my gear cleansing videos was that if I thought that a you know, like how I decide whether or not I should keep a piece, and generally speaking, for something like accuracy i was always looking for like a 32. so for an example accuracy and resistance if i was trying to decide whether or not i would keep a piece one of the factors i would look at was what did it roll if it rolled a 32 i would more than more than likely keep it if it rolled above a 32 that was really good to me if it rolled below a 32 like 31 is kind of pushing it but if it rolled a 30 i would be or below I would be more so inclined to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, for percentage stats, this was pretty much the same concept. For example, crit damage, 17% and above is what I was looking for. 16 was pushing it. Anything below that was something that I, I didn't want if it rolled a double. Specifically for that. Let me see if I can find another one. Accuracy, 32. This is something that I would keep. Hmm... And it also it just kind of depends on the actual set itself, right? Because a attack percent on a regen wouldn't, even if it was like a 21 here, it's still not going to be so important to me because uh, it's a regen set. But if I can find, let me see, uh, Savage right here. Let me see if I can find something uh, pretty decent. We've got an 82 over here. I don't know why it's such a high rating, I guess. You could consider crit rate to be a perfect seven and HP percent to be a perfect 14 as well. And then attack 18 over here. So 18 would be good. 32 for accuracy is right around where I'd want to be as well. Um, but yeah, you guys get my point. So this is pretty cool in and of itself. This uh, this new faction or not faction, sorry, this new uh, mode here.